All right, welcome to these fish tanks. This time we're gonna do a short little video on kind of species specific, I guess, <laughs> on some bumblebee catfish, South American bumblebee catfish. Uh, there's two kinds, what I understand, uh, Asian bumblebee catfish and South American bumblebee catfish. These are South American bumblebee catfish. They stay a little bit smaller, two and a half, maybe three inches. Um, life expectancy, Wild is five to seven years, I think, and in captivity they say four to five years. The ones I have, I've had for probably at least five years, so I figured, okay, if they're getting towards the end of their life expectancy, maybe now's the time to try to do some breeding with them or, or something. Um, doing research, next to impossible, if not impossible, to breed in captivity as far as in aquariums and stuff. Most of the ones that are, are sold are raised in catfish farm type of scenarios. I don't know if they're mud mud ponds or rice paddy ponds or something like that, but um, they're not raised in, in the tank type situation. So, don't know if I'm going to have much luck with it. Um, I've heard they are kind of a, like a pocosimus, that they put their eggs inside of a cave and the male blocks, you know, fans of the eggs and stuff not sure I uh, heard another one where they more of a uh, I guess it's called drop spawner or they drop the eggs all over and stuff so don't know about that either <laughs> first I had them in a, a bare bottom tank and then I put some gravel and stuff in there you'll see here in a second so yeah these ones you can see the, the best way you're gonna see it is probably the the photo in the description or the thumbnail you never see these catfish they're always always hiding you very rarely see them if you do it it's a split second and they're gone um, but they are very interesting so I probably not gonna get much footage of them on here uh, but just a an idea or whatever of what I, my plan is here a little project I'm gonna try to do with them anyway so let me uh, show you the tank I got them in if you watch my video on my fish room 2021 part one uh, first half of my fish room video uh, I released if not you can find that one uh, click like and subscribe and check out my channel and hit the the uh, bell icon so you can get the updates on the second part of that one or anything else I got going on I'd appreciate it anyways so I moved them four. I didn't think I had four to start with, but well, I started with six, six of them, about five, six years ago. Lost a couple of them when I just did the redo tank, redo on the 75 upstairs. Pretty sure I still had four, and I ended up finding four of them. Now when I clean these, I took them out of here. So got one big in the one big female. And that's the one that's in the thumbnail. She's uh two and a half inches long or so and probably as wide as my thumb or better um, and then there's three I think three males I'm assuming the big one is is the female and then there's three males or three smaller ones so whether they're males or not I'm not sure but uh, like I said yeah I put them in here put some rock and stuff in here but you you never see them <laughs> they're never around um, there was one in there before and he said I tried to have a flashlight down here but just so happens to yeah, have the flashlight's dying but there is one in there and the tank's dirty not real good setup for my species only video here but I think there's probably one underneath that filter back there and there's probably one starting to uh dig around and make something underneath here I could probably get in and try to see if I can stir something up here oh. hold the filter yep there's two of them actually whoa it's just speedy fast they are very quick so there was one one of them that took off was the big mama, but 
that's not her. Let's see if there's anything hiding out under here yet. Yep, there she is. Oh, and there she goes. So I pick this up and get her to come back out again. Yeah, she's a pretty big girl. Oh, now there's two of them back in here again. So yeah, that's the bumblebee catfish. Um, you can kind of see by the size of my fingers if I can get them down there far enough to get by them. Ooh. And she's going to try to get underneath there. I'm not going to block her too much. I don't want to hurt them. But, so yeah, there's four of them in here. Uh, there's another one swimming around. Getting stuck over in the grass over here. And watch closely, here it comes. Whoop. Yeah, that's her. Oh, come on, simmer down. That's the big female. You can see when she was just swimming through there, yeah. She's the size of my finger, so. Back in the corner there. So yeah, that's uh, kind of the project I got going on right now. Well, I'm gonna try. See if I can get uh, get those to breed and see what happens. That may be kind of interesting. If not, oh well, I'm not really out anything. I've had them for a long time and I've enjoyed them for a long time. And it would just be kind of interesting to be able to breed them and get some more of them for around here or try to sell some more fish. But sell fish that nobody gets to see. It's kind of tough. <laughs> I don't know that I would ever buy them again just for the fact that you never see them, but now that I find out how difficult they are to try to breed and get, and that might change it. I don't know. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Uh, get a chance, click the like, subscribe, and the bell icon. Stay tuned so we can see what's going on and see how this turns out. And see updates on everything else from my fish room. Everything else I got going on and everything else I'm doing and, and all that. And if you haven't uh, seen any of my stuff before, that's part of it. And if you uh, click the bell icon and subscribe, you'll be able to see everything else that I got coming too. So, alrighty. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, see how that project goes. Hopefully I can accomplish something out of it. But we'll give it a try and see what happens. And I'll keep you guys updated as we go. So, thank you very much and uh, take care. Bye.